Hi, we're here today introducing our new sewer jetting nozzles. We have three models to show you. Uh, the first one is a quarter inch, fits quarter inch hose. Now, point to make is if you're going to use hose from your extractor, be sure and cut the bend restrictor off because that, otherwise it would not have a uh, easy time navigating turns in the pipe. This one can be used on pipe two inches and larger. This has a rotating nozzle. It has three little power jets that, that shoot a cone backwards as you're introducing it into the jet and it rotates or spins. Uh, this is, does the best job of cleaning the inside walls of the sewer pipe. This is a fixed quarter inch one. It has a power tip that shoots a straight stream out the front and three backflow jets, but it doesn't rotate. If you're doing a, a pipe that has full occlusion, a complete clog, you may not be able to introduce this one into it until you've used this one first. On sewer pipe, one and a half inch and smaller, they recommend you use eighth inch jet. It's built just like this one, has the power tip and the three on the back, fits eighth inch hose. This is an example of eighth inch hose. This is regular quarter inch carpet cleaner line, and which would also work fine. Uh, most people use a line to go into the jet and then at the connection where that line connects to the line going back to your truck mount or your pressure washer, they have a ball valve so that you don't want to just start this spraying in your face. You want to be able to introduce it into the pipe a certain distance, open the ball valve, do your job, and then when you pull it out when water starts to back flush, then go ahead and shut that valve off. The uh, standard pressures are between 1,200, 1,000 to 1,200 and, and 2,500 PSI depending on your equipment. 